So, I mean, obviously, you know, Project Natal um, was just a code name that we used at the beginning. I mean, I think the main reason that we changed the name to Connect, um, obviously, there is a part of the human motion, you know, element that comes uh, across in the name. But I do think also that a lot of what we're doing with Connect, both from um, a games perspective and from the entertainment perspective is really trying to bring people together in a more meaningful way. I think, you know, so many of the technology innovations um, that you've seen recently, whether it's, uh, you know, on mobile devices, you go to parties now and everybody's just sitting with their heads down, like texting and typing into their phones instead of interacting with people, or even with like social media now where, hey, you know, you have a whole bunch of memories you want to share with somebody instead of actually sharing it with them in a person to person kind of way. You post it up to some technology and then somebody consumes it there. Great thing about Connect is it really is bringing people together for a more meaningful kind of like shared memories and shared experiences. The cooperative gameplay really is based around people's um, relationships and how they communicate with each other. You can see stuff like Video Connect where you're able to video chat through your TV, um, movies that you know over live you're able to watch you know not only with people in your living room but by connecting living rooms together for a shared movie experience and so um, you know I think Connect really expressed not only just the physical motion part but how um, the technology is bringing people together for these more kind of like shared experiences and um, so not many other names that we really considered as much as uh, you know that one just really fit the you know creative spirit and the kind of experience we were trying to bring to consumers. I do think that there are you know things that we're just touching on here at the launch that we're just very excited about exploring from a creative perspective as we go forward. One of the things is um, just how you can use Connect to um, make really fun games, but also help teach people things that will help them in their regular life as well. I think with a game like Dance Central, you can just see the very beginnings of, you know what, like, I'm a terrible dancer, you know, I've just never been good at dancing, and I didn't start playing Dance Central to learn how to dance. I just wanted to play it because it's a super fun game, but all the time I put in, like, you know, playing Dance Central and learning all the dance moves, I actually can, like, dance now in my regular life as well, and it's the first time that, I think, with video games, the time you're spending playing video games is helping uh, teach you things that you can do in other parts of your life. And I think that's one of the things I'm just super excited about is seeing a lot more of those experiences start coming out for Connect. Plus, um, you know, with the, with the main kind of features of Connect, the full body tracking, the voice recognition, especially that uh, human biometrics being able to just, uh, the sensor to recognize you and sign you into Xbox Live. I do think there's a totally new way to start doing character interaction and building relationships with characters inside games. We're just touching on it with connectimals now where you're actually able to talk to your animal inside the game and the animal can recognize you and react to you differently than it does to other people. But for the first time now you're able to start building up these kinds of like shared memories and shared experiences that really make um, human relationships very interesting. You know, the more time that you spend to, uh, with certain people your relationship just evolves over time based on the interactions that you have. And that's like a much more natural way of doing character interaction. And we have a lot of great like story-based or character-based games in the industry today. Just a lot of them are based off like choosing different, you know, text strings that you want to say to somebody. It's not a very, you know, human way of interacting with the characters. And I do think now with Connect, you're going to see a much kind of deeper and much more kind of unique and intricate way of building relationships with characters in games that I find just uh, from a creative perspective very exciting. The voice recognition with Connect is just awesome. I mean, being able to do anything in the Connect Hub menus, um, all with your voice. So just being able to say things like, hey, Xbox, ESPN, and then ESPN will launch. Or once you're watching movies, just being able to say like Xbox Pause or Xbox Fast Forward, all working really well. You also can see the stuff um, in Connectimals where you're able to start talking to your animal and teaching it different tricks using your voice. And that's all stuff that you certainly could use in a trivia game already today if you wanted to have a bunch of people that you know either could all shout out answers at the same time and Connect would be able to recognize them or just have you know um, only one person at a time can answer. That's all stuff you can already do. So I think that's a, you know be a great use of the voice recognition. Um, but again, there's just thousands of other uses now with the great voice technology we've developed that's totally unique to Connect. Um, obviously, we did a lot of research and just going into houses in North America, Europe, Japan, you know, places that 
really have totally different space requirements because not all houses you know have large amounts of space some have you know smaller spaces and you know people will ask okay well how is connect going to work in those environments so i think one the cool thing is you take a game like connect adventures and that game actually since we can see your living room in 3d will reconfigure the gameplay based around how much space you have. So if you have a lot of space, um, great. If you have a much smaller space, it will automatically update game parameters to um, change the gameplay so it's super fun in the space that you have. I mean, there is a you know, minimum distance, of course, of which you know, if the sensor's right here and I'm standing like right next to it like this, it's not going to be able to get a you know, full look at my body. But you know, I think if um, you know, you take a great game like Rock Band and you look at like Rock Band and you want to set up kind of just like a guitar and the drums and a, you know, a microphone. If you got enough space to play something like Rock Band in your house, everything will work fine with Connect. And, you know, probably there's a minimum distance of maybe, you know, about uh, six feet or so that, you know, for any size person, you can get like that nice full body scan. It goes back, you know, all the way, you know, probably like 10 feet or more uh, that you can play in. But it's always kind of the more, you know, people have a harder time understanding exact distances. And it's just uh, the example I've been using is, you know what, if you get a rock band set, uh, set, set up in your house, you'll have no problems with Connect. We've got an outstanding lineup coming for the Connect launch already. It's 17 different products, you know, all different genres, all types of games. And you know, the thing I think that's great about the Connect launch lineup is there really is different experiences for different types of people. Some people will like the more competitive sports games. Some people will like, you know, Dance Central's a dance game. Some people like the fitness games. You know, a lot of different products. But you know, some people will certainly ask me, um, hey, uh, where do you see, um, or when are you going to see more kind of existing types of Xbox 360 games coming for Kinect? And I think the great thing is, um, you know, we've obviously announced a bunch of stuff at E3 last year as far as, um, you know, Kinect Star Wars. So being able to play a Star Wars game with Kinect, I think, you know, people are just going to love that gameplay. You could see easily how, you know, wielding around a lightsaber with Kinect is going to be super awesome. Stuff like Forza, I mean, Forza for sure is the um, best racing game of this generation of consoles, and that's going to be coming for Kinect as well, something that we announced at E3. So, you know, there's lots of games in the pipe. We've obviously got tons of third-party support with Kinect as well, or we'd never get to the kind of 17 launch titles we have, which is, I think, even only just one less than we had at the original Xbox 360 launch. And so you're going to see all different kinds of games, all different experiences, but I do think even with the existing Kinect launch lineup, there's games that really leverage a very skill-based type of gameplay and a very, um, you know, the games are very deep and being able to have like extended play experiences that teach you new things um, the longer you play. And I do think those are the kinds of things that whether you're an existing Xbox 360 gamer or a new um, person to our console, you're really going to enjoy.